Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome to the Henderson Church of God of Prophecy where you have the right to be free and you don't have to take what the devil has to offer. God is for you, not against you. Hallelujah. And that's the gospel truth. And we thank God for our viewers. Thank you for the wonderful comments that you give. We thank God for uh, the Jesus Faith Deliverance Church for your financial blessings and your uh, prayer and support. We thank God for fine shine auto detailing in Hawaii. God bless you. Amen. And well, we know that your time is valuable, so we're going straight to the word of God for the people of God. Hallelujah. Our foundation scriptures come out of Philippians, the third chapter, verses 10 through 14. And it reads, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, being made conformable to, unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto, attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I have already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehending of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I call, count not myself of apprehending. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. If I could focus our attention, please, on verse 13 and 14. It says, Brethren, I count not myself of apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. We use for a text today, and our assignment is Yesterday is God. Yesterday is God. As we look at this message and we see what it's telling us to do, it's telling us that we can got to put some things behind us. The past is behind us. And, and so as we look at this and understand that our past defeats and even our successes are behind us. Amen. If you won yesterday, you're going to have to win again today. Hallelujah. You may have defeated the enemy yesterday, but the enemy is waiting for another battle today. Amen. You may have lost yesterday, but guess what? You get another chance to get it right today. But we, we, we realize that yesterday is gone. As you look at the beginning of our text, verse starting verse 10, it says that I may know him. And as I begin to study this, I realize that he's talking about in the present tense. He's saying that I may know him now. See, you may have known somebody, amen, when you were a child, but there's a lot of, lot of things have changed since then. You may have known somebody three years ago, but a lot of things can happen in three years. But he says, I want to know God, and I want to know God what's going on right now. I want to have, uh, I want to be in contact with God right now. I want to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit right now. I want to be involved in what God is doing right now, amen. Yeah. We understand the move of the past. But God is still moving right now by his spirit. God is still saving. God is still delivering. I want to be a part of what God is doing right now. Hallelujah. We thank God for all the food we ate yesterday. But how many know we get hungry again today? And, we, and, and so we thank God for the move on yesterday. We thank God for the word on last week. But we need a word and we need a word right now. How we can't live on the past. Hallelujah. But we can stop and get a word from God right now. We can get a direction from God right now. We can feel the spirit and the anointing that God wants to do something. He wants to do it right now because yesterday is gone. Hallelujah. And you're, never, you're not going to get it back. There was a poem I, was, I saw, amen, on the internet. I wanted to read it, but I'm not sure who the author was. Amen. But it says, there are two, there are two days in every week about which we should not worry. Two days which should be kept free from fear and apprehension. One of these days is yesterday. With, with its mistakes and cares, its faults and its blunders, its aches and its pains, yesterday has passed forever beyond our control. All the money in the world cannot bring back yesterday. We cannot undo a single act we perform. We cannot erase a single word we said. Yesterday is gone. The other day we should not worry about is tomorrow with its possible adversaries, its burdens, its large promises, and its poor performances. Tomorrow is also beyond our immediate control. 
Tomorrow's sun will rise either in splendor or be massed of clouds. But it, it will rise. Until it does, we have no stake in tomorrow, for it is as yet unborn. This just leaves only one day, today. Any person can face the challenges of just one day. It's, it is only when you and I add the burdens of those two awful entities, yesterday and tomorrow, that we break down. It is not the experience of today that drives people mad. It is the remorse or bitterness from something which has happened yesterday and the dread of what tomorrow may bring. Let us therefore live but one day at a time. Hallelujah. We have to live one day at a time. Yeah. We have to look at what we have today. When the morning sun came, it realized that your work is not done. Amen. We have to live, amen, one day at a time. Live now. Now is the time to exercise your faith. Now is the time to believe God. Amen. You can tell somebody, amen, you can ask, you can ask for forgiveness, and that's good. But if they don't forgive you, you got to keep on going. Hallelujah. We can't get stuck in what happened in the past. We can't get hindered from the past. But we need to press our way. That's what we look at our foundation scripture. And it says here, hallelujah, that we press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. We've got to press our way in spite of doubt and fear. We've got to press our way right now. We have to have our faith, amen. We have the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy, amen, that we can press and believe God because now God wants to bless you. You're in a good place right now hearing the word of God and things are about to change now. I believe that this word's gonna cause you to start thinking. Amen, this word's gonna cause you to get up and move yourself, shake yourself. Get up and find out what's possible. Get up and begin to dream. Get up and begin to believe, hallelujah. It's by faith that God's gonna bless you to open that business. It's by faith that God's gonna bless you to enroll in these new classes. It's by faith that you're going to graduate. It's by faith that you're gonna receive your healing, that you're gonna receive your deliverance. It's by faith that you got to step out and walk yeah. in the call because God has called somebody to preach this gospel. Yeah. God has called somebody to reach the lost. You, whatever the calling is, amen, it's by faith that you got to rise up and believe that yeah. and trust it. Yeah. But you've got to do it now. Yeah. Hallelujah. We've got to believe God and trust him right now. Amen. Because any time yeah. that you start operating in the past, you've got to stop. Even if you celebrate what happened in the past, you've got to stop and celebrate. But we're moving forward in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. We're not getting stuck in last year, but we're, we're, we're focusing on what God has for us in the present. Yes. Don't carry any don't carry any bondage with you, but forgive. <clears throat> forgive and forgive now. Yes. Hallelujah. Because you, if you don't forgive, it's like you taking poison hoping somebody else gets sick. It doesn't work that way. Because if you don't forgive, you got to carry that heavy burden everywhere you go. Because if something happened to you, you're a victim. But if you keep picking it up every day, you're a volunteer. And we're not volunteering for trouble. We're not volunteering, amen, we're coming out of that. Amen, they, some, the enemy meant it for evil, but God turned it for good. Because what done kill you made you stronger. Hallelujah, operating it now. First John 1 and 9, very popular scripture says, if you confess your sin, he is faithful and just to forgive you your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. You can be cleansed right now. Amen. We understand that the, the enemy tried to throw a guilt trip at you. Yeah. And any time you feel guilt, you look to punish yourself. You look for punishment, even if you got to punish yourself. But the conviction of the Holy Spirit will drive you to come to the altar. The conviction of the Holy Spirit is not guilt. It's leading you to God. Guilt puts you away from God. But receive. He said, if you confess your sin, he's faithful and just to forgive you. Amen. You can have a clean slate right now. Hallelujah. The blood has already been shed. Amen. You just got to depend on it. Trust in it. Believe God by faith. Confess your sin and walk in victory now. Hallelujah. Not in defeat. Yeah. First John, the third chapter, verse 2 says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Hallelujah. You, if you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior now, you have the benefits. Now you have the anointing. Now the power is available unto you. Now you can receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Now you can walk in, in faith. Amen. Don't wait. Hallelujah. And if you're struggling, 
that doesn't cancel, amen. That doesn't cancel out the fact that you, you are a born again believer, yes. trusting God. Yes. We get an example of a little baby bird that just came out of the egg. They're struggling to fly, amen. They're stumbling around and don't even look like they can do much. But the fact is God created that bird to fly, but it's a process. But you continue and hang in there, hang in there doing the process. Don't let your defeats pull you down. Learn from your mistakes, rise up and go forward. Yes, just because you failed, that didn't disqualify you. Hallelujah for being a child of God. Amen. If you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, believe in Christ, amen, and grow in the things of God and pick yourself up and keep on walking yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we are the sons of God now. Yes. In Lamentations, the third chapter, verse 22 and 23 says, it is of the Lord's mercy that we're not consumed. You woke up this morning, so I know you're not consumed. It is his mercy. It's his great love and mercy for us. Amen. Because his compassion, his love, faileth not. Hallelujah. Some people say, I don't know why God loves me, but I'm so glad he did. I don't know why. Amen. He, he gave his life, but I'm glad he did. Hallelujah. His love for you. Amen. I like when they sing that song, I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Hallelujah. Amen. His love is enough. His compassion faileth not. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. His compassion and his mercies are new every morning. Hallelujah. This morning, we're here because of the mercy of God. Hallelujah. Wake up in the morning. Amen. You got new mercy and new grace. Amen. Before you talk to anybody, reflect over the night before. And if you have to ask, you have to ask for forgiveness, go ahead and do it. Confess your sin. Because his mercy is new every morning. God's not running out of mercy. Amen. Amen. We have to press our way, continue to confess. Amen. Don't walk around unconfessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Confess to the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. He's going to bring it to pass. Amen. His mercies are new every morning. Amen. Hebrews 3.15 says, while, I, while it is said today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Yes, it's in the provocation. Yes. Don't harden your heart. Amen. But respond to the call of God. Amen. Don't harden your heart, but respond. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is dealing with you. Amen. You have to let some things go. Amen. Re come, re return back to Christ by prayer. Amen. You have to steal away alone, but you return back to Christ by prayer. Then go, then return back to the church. But God is here right now. God is, as you listen to this message, or wherever you're at, the presence of God is here. He's everywhere at the same time. Yeah. You don't have to wait till next Sunday to go to church. Hallelujah. You can make a decision right now. Amen. Because all you have is now. Amen. All you have is now to, to, to receive Christ. Get rededicated. Whatever you need to do. But now is the time. Now is the season to get serious with the things of God. Hallelujah. I'm almost finished. 2 Corinthians 6 with verse 2 says, For he said, I have heard thee in the time accepted. And in the day of salvation, I have secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. Now is the day of salvation. Yes. Amen. You can receive your salvation now. You can receive your deliverance now. You can receive your power now. You can receive your forgiveness now. Hallelujah. Whatever you need. God is available right now. This is a season. Yeah. We call it dispensation of grace. This is the dispensation. Amen. Like when you go to the medical window, they call it uh, the dispersary. Yes. God is, is here, and this is the season. Yeah. Yeah. For you to receive from him. Amen. Amen. Whatever you need, he went to the cross for it. Yeah. Hallelujah. He paid the price for it. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can have victory. Amen. Why? Because you don't have to take what the devil has to offer. Yes. God is for you, not against you. You have a right to be free. Yeah. And that's the gospel truth. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.